Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we are going to talk about what to do if you get to a gig and realize that the set that you thought would be appropriate for that gig just isn't going to work. Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien, and again, thank you so much for tuning into this video, another episode of Advice for Magicians. The goal here, of course, is to make you all be the best entertainers that you can possibly be. And in today's video, we're going to actually do a little Q&A. Uh, Brian Robinson actually reached out and said, you know, what do you do if the trick that you thought was going to work in this specific situation just doesn't work out? So uh, before we answer his question, I just wanted to thank you all for uh, joining me here on this video. Make sure you click the subscribe button and ring the bell if you haven't already done that. That way you guys don't miss out on uh, any of the <clears throat> future videos that I put out on this channel. Also, uh, just like Brian Robinson here, you're welcome to go ahead and become a Mob Squad member by clicking the join button. All you gotta do is just click the join button and for $1 a month, you'll get access to a ton of cool stuff, including magic tutorial videos, early access videos, live chat emojis, badges, and a bunch of other fun stuff. I'll also shout you out right here on this channel, like these guys here. So I wanted to go ahead and welcome Michelangelo Genie and Art Darefall. Thank you guys so much for becoming members and helping to support the channel. So in this situation, <clears throat> you put together an act and you show up to the gig and it turns out that the gig isn't gonna work for the act that you thought when you were showing up. So let me give you guys a personal example that actually happened to me. The event organizer, I was gonna do this company holiday party and the event organizer said that it was gonna be in a small room with about 50 to 100 people and uh, they wanted me to just do <clears throat> my stand-up show. So we booked the show and I show up and it turns out it's actually closer to about 300 people and it's in a banquet hall that is huge. And the people in the very back of the room, if I were to hold up two fingers, wouldn't be able to tell me how many fingers I was holding up. It was, it was pretty bad. Like I was prepared to do stand up material for a parlor sized audience and didn't bring any stage material with me. So what do you do in that situation? So what I did was I thought to myself, okay, I need to adjust my act because if I perform my act as is, they're not gonna be able to see anything and I'm gonna lose them. So I switched to a pseudo mentalism kind of thing where I did, you know, I promised them a 45 minute show. So what I ended up doing was taking different tricks that I already knew and made them play as big as I could, but also ro rolled in some propless kind of stuff in there too so that it didn't really matter what they saw uh they were more um you know going based off the reactions and stuff that you know that i was getting were you thinking of this yes and then everyone you know would react to it that way so it's very hard to prepare for every specific situation that's going to happen but what i think you should be able to do is at least have a plan b strategy for when these kinds of things happen so what I did um, in this specific situation was I didn't have enough material to cover a 45 minute show. I explained to the event organizer like, hey, you hired me for this and you didn't tell me there's gonna be 300 people. You said it was gonna be like 50 to 100 people. So the act that I have prepared, I don't have 45 minutes of material to perform for this 300 you know, person theater essentially. So um, what I offered them instead was a 20 minute, you know, stand up show and then one hour of walk around and I would go to all the different tables and I would perform at their tables for them. And the, the client was happy with that. I didn't charge him anything extra or anything like that. But what I didn't do was I didn't have prepared a plan B in case this happened and I learned from this. So learn from my mistake and make sure that you guys uh, have some kind of plan B prepared. So all you have to do is just come up with a few alternate ideas that are what I like to call time fillers <clears throat> that will play in any situation, right? So um, maybe have 
uh, I forget the name of that, that, that trick where you have like that big pad and you draw the deck of cards and then the card rises out of it. Can you guys remind me the name of that trick? Um, card do something. You guys know which one I'm talking about. Like that's an example of a trick that plays really big and pretty much anyone in the audience uh, would be able to see it. You can make that play as big or as small as you want. Have that trick ready. Even if you don't normally perform it in your act, have it ready and in your car in case you need it. Uh, have a couple of tricks that play really big that don't require the audience to see any props. So <clears throat> maybe like a book test or some kind of mind reading trick or um, a trick where you have the spectator come up and they do the, the thing and you like read their mind or something. Like a perfect example is a trick that I just came up with uh, the other day on this channel where we did like an Among Us thing. Like if you haven't seen that already, I recommend going back and watching that video. It's kind of fun. We like came up with this trick. So you kind of get your creative juices flowing and stuff. So a trick like that where you can bring a bunch of people up with you and have them do ridiculous things and the, the people doing the thing is the entertaining bit and then it has like a magical element rolled into it where like you're able to reveal which card they were thinking of or whatever, right? For example. So coming up with a bunch of these plan B tricks is really gonna help you out when you get into a sticky situation where you roll up to an event and it turns out the event isn't what you thought it was gonna be. Uh, another example was I was told I was gonna, again, another company holiday party, uh, I was going to be on a platform and I was going to perform for an audience. What they did not tell me was that the platform was literally going to be like in the round where like I was surrounded <laughs> by people. So I had people to my extreme left and behind me and people to my extreme right and behind me while I'm performing on this platform. So I had to kind of play to this, this circle room, right? So be prepared for these things is the only thing that I can recommend. Again, you're not gonna be prepared, you're not gonna be prepared for every single thing that could possibly happen, but learn from my mistakes and at least prepare for these couple of things that I just mentioned. And if you ever find yourself in a situation like that where you show up to a gig that you thought you were prepared for, but it turns out a curveball was thrown at you and you're not, learn from that experience and do the best you can to plan for it in the future. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that that answered your question there. Um, I don't think I have any more notes on that, but uh, <laughs> again, if you guys have any questions or if anything specific has happened to you and you would like me to you know, answer that specific situation of how I would have handled it, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to do that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.